Hello, and welcome to MTG Basics deck tech video for the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Silas Wren Seeker Adept. This is an aggressive soul tie list focusing on artifacts to pressure our opponents and gain value until we are able to win through various artifact combos in our deck. Thrasios acts mainly as a card advantage engine, while Silas Wren provides recursion for our artifacts, making the deck more resilient to failed win attempts. Our main objective with this deck is to cast cheap artifacts early to either draw cards, produce mana, or construct a board state of artifact creatures. Cards such as Vdalkin Archmage, Padim, Consul of Innovation, and Riddlesmith provide additional card advantage when casting our cheap artifacts in the mid-game. This allows us to scale into the mid-game and utilize our otherwise redundant artifacts to dig for interaction or combo piece when necessary. As for winning the game, we are able to pressure life totals with aggressive artifact creatures or win outright through infinite mana and card drop provided by Thrasios in the command zone. Our deck has many layered combos with high redundancy, allowing us to repeatedly threaten our win once our engines have been established. Our most resilient combo revolves around Bolas' Citadel, Sensei's Divine Top, and one of our many artifact cost reducers. This combo is performed by having Bolas' Citadel, one of our artifact cost reducers, and Sensei's Divine Top on the battlefield. We are able to activate Top, drawing a card, and putting it on top of our library. Sensei's Divine Top will now cost zero to cast, and we are able to play it from the top of our library through Bolas' Citadel without losing life. We may repeat this process to draw our deck and win through the various means in our deck such as Thassa's Oracle. The Reality Chip and Mystic Forge also act as a secondary Bolas' Citadel making Desensei's Divine Top our most crucial piece to completing this combo. Our next means of winning the game utilizes Thrasios' activated ability as an outlet for infinite mana. Isochron Scepter and Dramatic Reversal allow us to repeatedly tap and untap our mana artifacts for infinite mana and win through the similar means as our Sensei's Divine Top combo. Lastly, if our artifacts have been destroyed or are unable to be used, we are able to win through Thassa's Oracle and Demonic Consultation as a non-artifact related combo win. Our deck runs a high number of artifact tutors to reliably assemble our game-winning lines and address the board state our opponents have built. Notable artifacts which haven't been mentioned are Unwinding Clock and Lodestone Golem. The former provides a seedboard-like Muse effect in conjunction with Thrasios to acquire multiple activations per turn, while the latter is a mostly asymmetrical stacks piece that aids us in protecting our artifact-based combos and slowing our opponents down. Important matchups to consider are those which are able to stop the activation of our artifacts. Null Rod-like effects are of our main concern and these pieces require removal for our game plan to progress. If we are unable to deal with these stacks pieces, our aggressive artifact creatures allow us to pivot to combat damage as an alternate method of winning the game. Another relevant card to consider when piloting this deck is Dockside Extortionist. Due to most of our permanents being artifacts, we often provide our opponents with a high number of treasures and run self-sacrificing artifacts which provide value when sacrificed. This allows us to somewhat mitigate our deck's weakness of having artifacts in play by sacrificing and recurring them through Silas Wren. Thank you for watching our deck tech video on Thrasios Trident Hero and Silas Wren Seeker Adept. If you have any suggestions for the deck I missed, please feel free to let us know in the comments below. Stay basic.